Do you know something that is called Samsung DeX and have you used it? The Samsung DeX that is provided by your Samsung devices. Example, the Samsung S23 Ultra, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 are the devices that I'm going to use in this video. On the most recent Samsung devices, if you plug your device using USB-C cable to a monitor, you're going to activate Samsung DeX automatically. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 is a prime example for this because this device is geared toward multitasking. It also supports Samsung DeX. Here also with the Galaxy Z Fold 4, you just need one single USB-C cable plugged into a monitor in order to have a full Android interface like a computer. If you have any device that supports Samsung DeX, you're going to increase your productivity multiple times. The best thing with Samsung DeX is going to be the big screen that allows you to view everything in big compared to the small screen on your smartphone. The monitor that I'm using is the MP Glance. This is 16 inch full HD monitor. Most of the time I take this monitor while I'm traveling in order to have a big screen with me all the time. This is the best option if you do not want to carry a big laptop with you. You can just have your Samsung device, a Galaxy Z Fold 4 or a Samsung device that supports Samsung DeX and a portable monitor in order to have a big screen and an interface in order to be more productive. The thing with Samsung DeX, you need a keyboard or a mouse in order to navigate inside your Samsung DeX interface. If you do not have a mouse or a keyboard, for example, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 inner screen is going to be transformed into a trackpad in order for you to use Samsung DeX. Since that option makes the device less usable, that's why I have this keyboard. This is a Bluetooth keyboard that has a mouse integrated also. Currently, I'm navigating on Samsung's website using the Chrome application. You can see everything that I'm doing on the Chrome application is very smooth. I do not have any lag or any issues while browsing the internet. This is because of the SoC that the Galaxy Z Fold 4 has. It is the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 and it is an incredible chip that has good performance and efficiency. My internet speed on this device is close to 600 megabytes per second and as you can see this device can be your primary device to do everything and replace your Chromebook or your laptop. Since the Samsung DeX can replace your laptop it allows you to have multiple applications open at the same time you can have multiple windows and interact with all those windows at the same time just like a regular laptop i'm able to rearrange the size of the applications that i opened and make sure that i have every application that i need on the screen at the same time and work with all those applications the best thing with the samsung dex is the cloud using the cloud you can have access to a remote computer and do your work i am an engineer so I use a computer regularly that has a lot of performance in order to do CAD drawings. So using Samsung DeX, I can remote in onto that computer and do all my work on my Samsung device. Most likely the engineering laptop is going to cost more than $5,000. It is not comparable to the Samsung device, but you can remote in using your Samsung DeX if your IT department allows it. Currently, I have the Chrome application, YouTube and eBay open. On eBay, I'm trying to look for a new SSD for my SSD enclosure in order to have an external hard drive that I can pair with this setup in order to have an external hard drive to store all my files because the Galaxy Z Fold 4 has 512 gigabyte of memory and it is not expendable. Also with Samsung DeX, using the most recent Samsung devices, you can now bring your wireless Samsung DeX activity on the big screen. This simply means that if you have a Samsung TV or a TV that has wireless connectivity, you will need to connect your Samsung device to your TV and activate the Samsung DeX in order to have a big screen, a giant screen with all your activity in this interface. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 is one of those devices that allows wireless Samsung DeX and the Galaxy Z Fold 4 has 12 gigs of RAM. This is plenty enough for you to do everything or anything with your Samsung device while being productive or consulting your social media. 12 gigs of RAM is a lot. It is going to let you have a lot of applications running at the same time. And this is why I was saying if you're going to use remote in onto another computer or another server, this device, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is going to do it seamlessly without any effort. 12 gigs of RAM is a lot. Most entry level laptops are below 12 gigs of RAM and comparing this to my M1 MacBook Pro, which has 16 gigs of RAM. It lacks only four gigs of RAM in order to be the same level as my M1 MacBook Pro. 
Samsung DeX being built on Android lets you download a bunch of applications, everything that you can download on the Play Store, you can have it on Samsung DeX and use it. If you go on the dashboard, you can see all the applications that I have currently downloaded on my Galaxy Z Fold 4 and these are all the applications that I interact with every day. I most likely think if you're going to use Samsung DeX regularly, you will no longer have the need for a tablet. Like I said earlier, you can use all the applications that are on your device and this is Asphalt 9, this is a game that I can use on my Samsung DeX also and take advantage of the big screen. Again, the best thing with Samsung DeX is that it is built on Android. Pretty sure that I can find equivalent of all applications that I use regularly on my MacBook M1 Pro and at least have the same level of satisfaction as if I am using a computer. So while doing my review of the Samsung DeX, this is a problem that I came across. The device tend to turn off after I tried to play the game. All this time while I was using multiple applications and browsing the web, the screen never turned off and when I tried to play the Asphalt 9, the screen suddenly turned off and restart. Asphalt 9 is a big game with a lot of graphics that consumes a lot of energy on the device that might be why the device is suddenly turning off if i try to play asphalt 9 without the device being plugged in this is what i concluded for this problem but the monitor that i have has two usb-c port one is for the monitor and the other one is for charging i'm pretty sure that it is not because of the charging that the device is not working because samsung says that you can use samsung dex wirelessly and it is not going to have this kind of crash it might be due to the portable monitor monitor that I have on this review. It might simply be the game because the games know that I am in Samsung DeX and I am trying to play a game and it might require the device to be charged while playing the game. I did play a game on this monitor which worked perfectly. It was a very light game with minimal graphics and I didn't have this problem. At the time of doing this video, I didn't try another game that has the same level of graphics as Asphalt 9 and I will be trying that later in order to confirm that it is indeed the game that that requires the device to be plugged in in order to play. You see with Samsung DeX you can have all your favorite games on the big screen while using your Samsung device. Again Samsung DeX being built on Android you have the ability to download a lot of emulators in order to play your favorite games from the past. You can find NES, SNES, GBA, N64, Game Boy Advance, Original PlayStation, PSP and PlayStation 1 and the list goes on. You can see Samsung DeX can be a really great gaming station and it is going to let you play all your games on the big screen. Currently the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is plugged in. You see that we have the same interface. You're going to have the same Samsung DeX as the Galaxy Z Fold 4. If you have another Samsung device that supports Samsung DeX, you may not have 8 gigs of RAM or 12 gigs of RAM. Having 8 gigs of RAM or less is going to let you do most of the stuff that I did with my Galaxy Z Fold 4 but you're not going to be able to push the device to its maximum as if the device had 12 gigs of RAM. Click the video on the screen for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 complete review and if you learn something new about the Samsung DeX, like the video, share and subscribe to the channel. My first Samsung device that came with Samsung DeX was the Galaxy S9 and it is still working today.